<sighs> all right, put all my stuff away. Um, some of you need to wait here. Audrey, come with me. Let's go. All right, I need to get Maggie her medicine, and I need to talk to Moira, too. Oh, there she is. Release from the pain and hardships of this world. Yay, your suffering shall exist no longer. That sign says local cult. <laughs> hey, Maggie. I probably shouldn't be talking to you. Billy says I get too friendly with people I don't know. He says it's dangerous. Um, I have some medicine for you. Do you know where I can find your caretaker, Billy? Uh, I'll, I'll go find him. So, do you know any good secrets? Well, Billy built a safe into the floor of our house. He keeps all sorts of cool stuff in there. I shouldn't tell you this, but the combination is 15, 16, 23, 42, if you want to take a look. Just make sure that you put everything back if you take anything out to play with it. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, Maggie. Bye. Bye, lady. Earned from you in the okay. fire. But maybe don't friends. tell people that, okay? Each of us shall give birth to a bus shall be mu Hello? What can I get for you today? Not that we have much these days. I don't remember you here from before. Are you part of the Stall family? Uh Actually, yes. Moriarty scared off our suppliers, so now we need someone to get us new stock. Well, what do you need exactly? First, we need the basics. Twenty beers should do the trick. Come back to me when you find some. Alright, sure. Hello? Hello, sweet child. Hello, I don't believe we've met. I'm Mother Maya, prophet of the atom and embracer of the universal light. Remember, sweet child, that as children of Adam, the fabric of the universe itself is ours to weave. So welcome to Megaton, and peace be with you. Oh, I didn't know that Confessor Cromwell had some help. You must work all the time, because I haven't seen you around. Why don't you tell me about the church? For those answers, I shall direct you to my husband, Confessor Cromwell. Oh, your husband. Okay. All right, thanks. Bye. Adam's light be with you, sweet child. I still just Each can't believe we're going back. Peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Adam in his glory. I urge if there are Adam, any Twinkies left. I give unto you hey. these feeble... Hey, man, what's going on? I got that medicine. Have you got it yet? Yeah, it's right here. Oh my god, you, I can't. Thank you so much. Here, this is all I can give you. I wish I had more. You really are a hero. Bones. No I problem, Billy. You just take good care of Maggie, okay? I beg of you... To use me as your vessel, this place gives guide me, me to your brilliance, divide each particle, and give relief to this Alright, now I got to talk to Moira. Hey, Moira. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? <laughs> oh, what's up? I guess it depends. I mean, robo-brains are a thing. You know what? Let's talk about those robots. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Yeah, I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing! Tell me all about how it worked out. Like a charm, I only wish it were always that easy to hack people. Hey, robots are people too. Well, some of them. Kinda. True. Well, okay. Uh, not really. 
Still, just in case you anger a few of our more metallic brethren, have a few pulse grenades I picked up, just in case. Oh, and take my book on science. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts, but I've got the rest pretty much memorized. Oh, thanks. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but that completes the book, right? Smooth, suave, and done with a smile. <laughs> I swear I picked up a few pointers from your style myself. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. No problem. I'm really glad that I was able to help you. It certainly was an epic piece of work, so is the final product worth it? Oh my, it's, it's brilliant. Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh, no, 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 it's more than that. By our genius. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Oh, so you basically had the book finish. You were waiting on that last little bit? Well, great. I'm glad it's done. As a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. I'll see you later, Mora. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Hero. The people of Megaton know you as an absolute hero, though some fear your uncharitable side. Having disarmed Megaton's atomic bomb and helping Moira complete her dream of publishing the Wasteland Survival Guide, you have shown Moira that hands-on work is vital to the survival of humanity. You will now be able to talk to her about becoming your traveling companion and research partner. Before she will actually join you, however, You'll need to take care of a few things, of course. Hey, Mora, I have an idea. Hey, don't mind the smoke. <coughs> it's perfectly safe to breathe. <coughs> really? Uh, what experiments have you been up to? <laughs> anyway, you should join me in the field, Moira. We could research Volume 2 together. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun. But for that, I need an assistant to test my theories and run Craterside Supply. Before Moira will join you in your travels, you will need to hire both J. Robert Sellers and Jocelyn Markov to work at Craterside Supply while Moira is with you. You will need to hire one of them to work in the lab and one to work in the store. Either can do either job. You will need a total of 700 caps, 500 for the lab assistant, 200 for the shop assistant, to hire both employees. You know, Moira, I know you pretty much run this place by yourself except for a few employees, but I really think you should turn this into a co-op. I'm uh, going to go find some people to run this place while you're gone, but I would really appreciate it if you would think about that. <sighs> it's getting late. I probably have better luck if I wait till morning. Huh? Hey there. Hi. Hey. Hey there. Moira mentioned to me that you might be looking for a job. Can I ask you something? What's on your mind? Are you interested in being Moira's lab assistant? Uh, she's offering 500 caps as a starting bonus. Me? Yeah, sure, no problem. Anything I can do to help, just let me know. All right, awesome. She also mentioned that there was someone who could man the store. Better go talk to them. Oh, he sleeps in late.
Hey, come on, I need to talk to you. Sorry, don't mean to be rude. I just really need to talk to you. Hey there. Can I ask you something, Mr. Sellers? What? Me? Why? Are you interested in working at Craterside? Moira's offering a starting bonus. Sure thing. For a one-time investment of, say, 200 caps. All right. Oh, I see you're a bit of a tailor. Nice. Oh, you know what? Before I take her with me, I never did get to read her terminal. I know it's a little bit of invading her privacy, but I just really need to know she's a good person before I take her on adventure saving people. But I mean, I'm pretty sure she is. Docutron Desktop, Model 986. Welcome, Moira. What would you like to do today? Store inventory. Data corrupted. Use hard copy backups. Track current experiments. It is a lovely day for science. What shall we test today, Moira? Do Brahmin heads learn independently? More study of Brahmin language required. Can explosives be used to expand town? Lucas Sims requests all testing cease. Can mole rats be domesticated? Yes, if defanged, declawed, and lobotomized. How to prevent raider attacks. Raiders refuse to sit for interviews. What do super mutants eat? Research assistants. What happened to China? Reports uncertain. China may be fictional. Can centaurs talk? Abundance of tongues suggests so. What is the purpose of being? To perform science. Oh my god, Moira, you needed my help so badly. <laughs> Survival Guide Progress. Files printed and distributed. Alright. I'm really glad we were able to make that book. Don't try anything. Hey, Moira. Hey, don't mind the smoke. <coughs> it's perfectly safe to breathe. <coughs> really? Do that experiment outside, Moira. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hired both assistants and gave them their bonuses. You've got all the help you need. Oh, excellent. What a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Craterside's great, but you need to apply your genius to larger problems. I know, right? Why not put my brilliant mind to work for everyone? I've got a gift, and it'd be wrong to not try to use it. Yep. So, join me for field research? I go to all sorts of interesting places. Well, this seems like the perfect excuse to do some of that exploring I've kept putting off. That's a nice change. It's not exactly safe, Mora. You sure you want to do this? I know exactly what I'm doing. Besides, you look like you can really handle yourself out there. I mean, with you helping and all, how could it go wrong? Oh, great. You know, you've always seemed like an amazing person, and I'm really glad I'll get to know you better. I have a whole list of places I want to explore, and I know you do, too. Great, then. You and me. Ooh, sounds like fun. Which do you want to do first? Having secured employees for Creator Side Supply, Moira has made you a partner in the business, player added to the Creator Side Supply faction, and given you a key. You will now receive a 20% discount at Crater Side Supply. This discount will improve as you and Moira progress. She is also now willing to travel with you on your adventures and help you with your field research. 
Her base stats have been slightly improved, she has been set as essential, and has been added to the player slash follower factions. As you take Moira to various scientifically interesting places, take her along on certain quests and engage in certain unique dialogues. Her skills as a wasteland adventurer and your relationship status will progress, unlocking additional features and significantly improving her companion perk. She can be dismissed to create her site supply and will resume her normally normal daily routine while there. Well, Moira, you're really going to make me a partner? Well, then I'm definitely going to insist on making this a co-op. It's okay, Moira. Huh. Did you know the human body can survive without the stomach or spleen? Uh, oh, <laughs> what's up? Let's go. Of course I can. Moira, I read how you tried to domesticate a mole rat, and I hope you didn't lobotomize one, but uh, was that experiment ever successful? Really? Excellent. That is a yes. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you about more things? Go right ahead. I had an idea for Crater Side Supply. Crater Side? Really? Tell me about it. I think we could get one of those Nuka Protectrons and reprogram it. Oh, they must have been moving robots around. Really? Robots are, well, super awesome! This place gives All me right. the creeps. Well, you can find them at the Nuka Cola factory. Oh, hey! Kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? How's it going? Can't complain. Anyway, what's up? Hey, can I show you a few things I've learned out here? Great! I haven't got nearly the experience in the wastes that you do. I think I can show you how to do basic field surgery. Sounds like you know your way around a med kit. Oh, hi. Let's keep talking, Moria. I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? I have some other training I could give you if you wanted. Great idea. I've made some major breakthroughs out here. I could share some with you. Aha! Good information takes real work to uncover after all. Tell me about it. I still just can't believe we've got him back. All right. Oh, hi. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? You know, I have an idea for a new compound. Any chance I can use your gear? That's very scientific of you. Ghouls and people living together. I'd say it's the end of the world as we know it, but that already happened. Well, I'm glad you approve, I guess. That was approval, right? Oh, your mole rat is so adorable. It doesn't look lobotomized. I'm proud of you, Mora. You know what? I'm gonna switch out my Pip Boy module. Recycling my energy ammo would be great. Hey there. Glad you're back. Oh, hey, Lucy. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. Oh, shit. You have to deliver that letter. I am the worst courier. I should never make being a courier my actual job. That would be horrible. Well, I've still got some exploring to do up here in the middle and stuff, and I really need to deliver that letter. I'm pretty sure Arafu is somewhere up here, so I guess I'll go looking. You know what? I'm gonna stop by Big Town first to drop Sticky off. Well, I'm back in my raider outfit, so that should mean I don't have to fight any of the raiders, but my friends aren't dressed up. I guess I can try to cover for them. Well, at least Miss Petrovita gave you something of use. 
A grenade made of bleached soda would be a formidable weapon, provided our enemies are well dressed. <laughs> I think it would be a good weapon anyway. You're forgetting that it literally has a radioactive isotope, Audrey. Anyway, so yeah, if raiders show up, I'll just act like these are my slaves. This one's mine. Ugh, leave me, scorpions. <laughs> Luckily, they're the smaller ones. Oh, hey, there's a shack over there. I should check it out. Hmm. It's locked, but I can get in it. Oh, uh, no one's here right now. I'll check it out and then leave. I won't take anything, though, so they don't know I, I was here. Welcome, user. Logged in as Bam Bisley. New shack. Had the boys rig up this shack for me in days. D crappy job, but it's a f***ing hard to get good workers these days. Even public executing seems to have lost its magic. Still, it's better than living on that god d uneven road. It should keep the rain off our heads. F***ing spelling. F***ing This f***ing machine keeps telling me I'm spelling f***ing wrong. What the f***? I know I spell good. That's what the boys always say. I am one eloquent MF. It looks like the f***ing word then I can understand it, so what is the f***ing point? Why the f*** can't a word be spelt in multiple ways? F***ing bullshit, stuck up computer, kiss my raw ass. <laughs> wow. Yeah, very eloquent. <laughs> DC scaven. DC is a f***ing mess. Seems like super mutants are drawn to the place. Makes keeping a low profile with our crew f***ing impossible. I wanted to check out the comic store again, but the place was overrun. Still, we caught some settlers out near Friendship. Stupid place for them to wander. You'd think people would know better by now. Too bad for them, all the better for us. Only one survived to make the trip back. She's not bad looking, but as usual, days won't let me touch her. She wants to do the interrogating herself. Interrogating. We might have hit the jackpot this time. That woman we claimed yesterday told us about a place they was looking for. Called it the PPPPS or something like that. Said it was owned by a company before the war that specialized in bomb shelters. Not sure if it's true or if she was just spouting any old sh** to stop days carving her up. Seems worth checking out anyway. Attach the coordinates to this terminal. Maybe we can find us the locations of some unplundered vaults or uh, pre-war weapon stashes. That would be f***ing awesome. We're heading out first thing tomorrow, ready for anything. I know a few Talon safe zones on the way. Well, maybe some of them baby snatchers will even lend a hand. Huh, I wonder what that place is they were talking about. Uh, I guess I'll keep an eye out for it. Oh shit, so, a sentry bot. The world doctors are working on a cure for ghouls. I don't know how to feel about that. Immortality has its benefits after. All right, got it. Of course. This sniper rifle does really good damage, but it, the bullet travels so slowly. Oh hey, some homes. Is there anyone here? There it is. We're almost there. Come on. Oh, Yippee! this is big down. Okay. 
Oh, it, okay, is it that way? Sticky, wait up. Oh. Oh, this is the entrance, I see. Oh, good idea to have a bridge you can defend. Hi. Hey, who are you? Hey, I mean you no harm, I'm just a traveler. Right, what do you want? I was just dropping Sticky off and wanted to look around a little. Don't worry about me, I won't hurt you. Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? I won't. Hey, bud. If you're in a helping mood, you want to do me a solid? Uh, it depends. What's up? Well, it can get boring being a guard sometimes. I had some books, but I dropped them when some raiders chased me out of Hamilton's hideaway. What were you doing in Hamilton's hideaway? Uh, I like to read alone sometimes. Anyway, could you go get them for me or not? Yeah, I guess I can go find the books. Sweet. Alright, come back to me when you find them. And do it soon. I'm getting really bored here. Okay. So Super Mutants kidnapped some of the members of Big Town. Yeah, place is not much to look at. Hello. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. Take your pick. They both come in here, drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a fight. The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. Wow, that sounds awful. Why don't you leave? And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? What, Megaton won't take you? I know they had some kind of ableism thing, but... They seriously won't let you in me as your former lamplighters? What the fuck? I'm gonna have to deal with that, because that's not okay. Uh, who lives here? There aren't many of us left. There's me and Pappy. Red runs the clinic, but she's been taken by the mutant. Kimba does what she can. And there's Bittercup. She's just about as useless as a human being can be. Time Bomb was hurt in the last raid, so he's out. That's about it. The mutants and slavers have taken everyone else. Just us and a couple of guns are all that's left. That was kind of a mean description of some of your friends. <sighs> so it seems a bit anarchic here. Where do you keep your stuff safe? Yeah, yeah. You're a scary wastelander. Look, you'll either kill us or you won't. Most of us have already accepted death, so you won't get much of a reaction with your threats. At least we won't be slaves if you shoot us all. That's not what I meant, but I see you're real tough, kid. Aren't you swell? Did you need something else, or can I go back to my patrol? What do you know about these super mutants? What? You've never seen a super mutant before? They're mean and ugly and scary as hell. That's not what I they said. They came and rounded up a bunch of us and carried them off. God, they must be doing awful things to them. I'd go rescue them, but then who'd defend Big Town? I patrol every day now. And I got a little present for those muties when they come back. You know what it is? This kick-ass gun. That's what. Yeah, baby. Hey, you're not even one of the guards. You sure think you're hot shit, don't ya? <sighs> Do you know where these super mutants took their victims? Yeah. Yeah. They went northeast. Probably to the Germantown police headquarters. They have guns, and they're mean. So you better be careful. You gonna rescue them or what? You stay here and hold off any more mutants. I'll go rescue your friends. That's totally awesome! Yeah, okay. While you're out on your mission, I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Cool! Hey, 
Did I show you my new gun? It's totally awesome. It's a nice gun, okay? Can you tell me again where they took your friends? Try Germantown. They always come up from that way. Bring lots of guns and shoot the hell out of those muties. I'll hold down the fort here. Where did you people come from, anyway? Little Lamplight, right? We all used to live in a place called Little Lamplight, but they have a rule about age. You reach 16, and you're out. Didn't matter, though, because you just pack your things and head to Big Town. All the adults go there, and there's plenty to eat. Plenty to eat, all right, if you like eating bullets. I've lost count of how many times I've been shot at. Wow, so they kick you out at 16? What the fuck? So Sticky's only 16? I thought they would at least let you stay until you were 18. <sighs> Do you have any traders in town? Any doctors? Look, the only place to go is the town hall, and that's just a meeting spot for us. There aren't any traders or anything around here. All right, bye. Keep an eye out for muties. Will do. This place gets worse all the time. Hi. Have you ever been in love? Just, just get to the point, kid. Well, there's this girl, Bittercup. She's wonderful. And she's dated almost every guy here, but not me. I wrote her a love poem to try to sway her. So give it to her. What's the problem? Well, I was writing it by the Moonbeam Cinema, but some raiders came by and chased me off the field. So I left it there. Could you go get it for me? Sure, I'll go get it for you. Thanks, man. Bring it back ASAP before she hooks up with someone else. I'll keep that in mind. Hi. The name's Blue. I'm Red's medical assistant. You seem like the helpful sort. Want to be really charitable? What do you need? We're running really low on medical supplies. After all these attacks, we could really use some spare stim packs. Of course, I'll do what I can to help. You really are some kind of saint or something. Alright, 20 should tide us over for a while. Come back when you have them. Wow, 20, all right. Point to saving red. It would be like rebuilding a house near a volcano. It's not the foundation, it's the lava. But you have to try, Audrey, even if their situation isn't going to be fixed by saving her. Maybe we can just take out the super mutants so it doesn't happen again. Do you have the stim packs? Well, I do have 20 of them, so here you go. I hope this is enough. This should be more than enough. Thank you so much. You're definitely this town's hero. Have you seen my new I gun, Happy? It it's awesome. Badass. Hello? Do you know how to use Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep kidnapping people. Uh right. Do you know where the super mutants took them? Oh, they're somewhere to the northeast. In a police station or something. Thanks for rescuing our friends. I'll try my best. So you came from Little Lamplight, right? Oh, Little Lamplight is where most of us came from. Red and Pappy and Flash and Bittercup. We used to play together when we were kids. Then we got old and we had to leave. Those were the rules. So we packed up and headed here, like we were supposed to. No one told us it would be like this. We never have fun anymore. And most of us, most of us are dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have any traders in town? Any doctors? Someone who could no. help? No. Red used to run a medical clinic, but super mutants captured her in the last attack. Right, yeah. So why do super mutants keep attacking the town anyway? Whenever those things come, they grab a few people instead of killing them. No one knows what happens after that. No one wants to know. There's... There's always so much blood after they come, and then someone has to move the bodies. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'll, I'll help you, okay? All right, bye. I'm so tired of being frightened all the time. Use it. Bye. 
Oh, hey. A visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. The only sex and beatings I'm going to give around here are consensual ones. <laughs> so, do you know where the super mutants took your friends? Well, if you feel like dying, go right on ahead. They're up there at some police station near Germantown. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I think I can handle it. Is there anyone around here who can repair my stuff? Yeah, I can do it. Not very well. Uh, alright, so you guys came from Little Lamplight, right? Most of us came from Little Lamplight. We got too old, so they kicked us out. Brats. Always heard stories about how great Big Town was, where the grown-ups go. But there's nothing here except death and sand. Yeah, that seems to be a huge flaw with your system. Any traitors in town? Doctors? We got two things to do in this town. Suck and die. No one ever makes it in this place. You won't find any stores to loot here. Yeah, this place looks like a ghost town. Yeah, you're telling me. Everything that could go wrong goes wrong. The super mutants and slavers seem to take turns beating the crap out of us. There's no way for us to fight back, so we just keep building barricades around town. Now we've been pushed back all the way. Nowhere left to run now. Well, bye. I'll try to help best as I can. We're all gonna die. I hope not. <sighs> Bit nihilistic. I wonder if there are any Twinkies left. All right, well, I guess I'll explore the buildings around here. Places like this make me glad we grew up in the vault. I can't even imagine trying to be a kid in a place like this. Well, technically you're not supposed to. Except for, like, 16-year-olds. Hey, Sticky. Where's Red? Uh, she's still gone. She got captured by the Super Mutants. You didn't hear her? I'm gonna try to get her back, though. Hmm, a recipe. Ugh, turn this shit off. They shouldn't be listening to it. Oh, Moira, I didn't see this. It's an excerpt from the guide. Wasteland Survival Guide. Lead author and subject matter expert, Angel. Assistant author, Moira Brown. This indispensable guidebook contains everything that a survivor in the wasteland could need to know. Every page contains a gem of brilliant insight into how to survive in the wastes, thrive among its denizens, and revive your survivor community. The guide not only imparts sage advice about how to stay alive, but its inspiring and personal presentation ensures that its great wisdom will be passed down long after the book has worn away. Good excerpt, Mora. Meat cake. Pork and beans. Cram. Flour. Hmm, maybe I'll try that recipe sometime. Oh, hey! Yeah, he said you were injured in the last fight. Are you okay? His wounds are very severe. This will be a tricky operation. Are you sure you want to try it? I think I can fix you up myself. I'm gonna try. Perform the operation. After a few close calls, you managed to stitch up Time Bomb's wounds. He should be fine. Ah, <sighs> alright, it was successful. Damn! What... what happened? You had seven bullet wounds and broke both clavicles. Should be getting better now. Wow! That's... you saved my life! Thanks! You're a good person, you know that? You're welcome. Don't do anything strenuous for a few weeks, okay? Alright. I'll be careful. I promise. Alright. 
Ally, for your helpful nature, the folks of BitTown think of you as a reliable ally. Anything for you, man. What do you need? So do you know anything about the super mutant attacks? I remember screaming and gunfire. One of those big, hulking things shot at me. That's all I can think of. Okay, uh, do you have any traders in town? Any doctors? Red should have been here, but she probably got dragged off by the mutants. Damn it. Damn it! I'm gonna try to get her back, okay? Um, why don't you tell me how Big Town got started? Whoa, that was a long time ago. I'm not sure when, but everyone who grows up in Lamplight ends up here. Not too many of us left. Alright, bye. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, be careful not to rip your stitches open. Ooh, I'm gonna need that. Oh, that must be the girl he has a crush on. I can definitely see why. I'll go get that poem before I talk to her. I really want him to have a chance. I can't believe it's only a couple days away. At least we made it another day, right? They're out there. I can feel it. Uh, what? You? I gave you the welcoming speech. So you're under constant threat? There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Where do the super mutants come from? Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. Uh, Paradise Falls? You know where that is? Nearby. Slavers move quick and come from all directions. Someone else might know where they nest. Alright, um, I just need somewhere to trade my salvage. There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. Okay, so how did you people get here? Sometimes you'll see small, tired dots on the horizon instead of angry, anxious ones. Those are settlers who come here from lamplight. The poor fools. Oh. Do you have any traders in town? Any doctors? There's nothing here but the stench of death and the threat of attack looming over every sunset. Uh, what are you on the lookout for specifically? Two very angry types of movements. Slow, lumbering, powerful movements, and jerky, erratic, excitable movements. Both coming for the kill. Ugh, with the society Lamplight has established, being an adult is depressing. Bye. Hey. So bored. I get it. I'll get you your damn books. <sighs> He definitely has to be one of the younger ones. Uh, Alright, Germantown is a little far away. I'll get there eventually, but I have some other stuff to do. I won't wait too long, though. Oh shit, super mutants. They weren't kidding when they said they were right here. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh. oh shit, be careful. Watch Please out for the exploding cars, oh, shit. Mora. That was messy. <sighs> All right. Now, we are going to clear out any super mutants we see around here. We got to help out Big Town to be safer. And if we kill them all, then they shouldn't come back as quickly. They'll definitely be more hesitant to come back here if some of them die. Oh, is this the cinema? Oh, right. I think they wouldn't watch a movie, like, right on that screen. 
Oh, he has a whole journal of love poems. Huh. A cup so bitter it's sweet. Clever title. That scorpion is huge. The raiders are fighting it. Be careful. Been a lot. <sighs> All right, got it. Oh shit, that was messy. Yep. The raiders were playing baseball before the red scorpion killed one of them. It's okay, you get your home run. <laughs> Still counts when your opponent dies, right? Oh look, they have bats and even a ball. What's up? Ah, <sighs> but gory bodies, because of course you do. What the fuck is that? It looks like a death claw, but furry. 